film really stinks. It's garbage. I used to live next door to this kid and he was... Have you been wronged? Has, Has someone, someone hurt you? Been mean? Then call us at the law offices of Morgan Freeman. No, he's not a lawyer, but he sure sounds like one. And he'll get you justice. And my word is law! Yo, Mary, where's the car? Mom took it. Why? Because I wanted to use it. I already had to walk home from school. Big deal, John. I once had to walk home from the hairdresser. That's farther. Great. What do you want? A medal? Yeah. All right. Let's go. This 2x4 keeps following me around. It shows up everywhere I go. Who it is, how to kill it, I just don't know. Give me the money, Vader! Your hair is truly the dark side. <laughs> Holding up our theater is a really bad idea. You know your friends are mean when a game of pin the tail on the donkey ends like this. And 
two, three, four. Don't know much about history. Don't know much biology. Don't know much about a science book. Don't know much about the French I took. I guess that's why I failed out of school. We're not inviting Dracula. He always bites someone. Woke up late for work and I'm really tardy Was up all night prepping for my monster parties Friday night and I want to have fun Gonna turn the sucker out before the day is done Monster Party Monster Party Monster Party Monster Party Wolfman's chillin' and the mummy's getting loose Good old Swamp Thing Ate all my chocolate mousse. The doorbell rings, but have no fear. It's my main man, Frankenstein, and he's brought the beer. Thanks, man. Monster party. Monster party. Monster party. Monster party. Everything's going great, super well. Then I hear the, another ring from the doorbell. Hello, hello, who's there? It's just some dude that's not Dracula, I swear. I open the door like I'm taking the bait, and then I stab that bastard to the heart with a stake. Take that, Dracula. Monster. Party. Monster. Party. And now, a random aside from KMX. I would watch Devil Dare a lot when I was like five, six years old. And they would always ask the contestants on it, what do you want to be when you grow up? Got to thinking, what if that was one of the questions you could get right or wrong on the game show? You know, what if it was like, what would it be? I think, you know what, they can only do that in Russia. They can only do that in a country where they tell you what you want to be when you grow up. So I came up with this sketch called Communist Double Dare. And I actually, I performed it when I was a senior in high school. It took about seven years for it to come around, but it was worth it. Love. This stupid
Anyway, How to Stop Yelling um, was based on a book um, that I wrote two years ago, and um, it's very precious to me, and um, I've, I've had a very horrible anger management problem uh, in my life, and uh, mostly yelling at my husband and my little kids. Um, but I think that this will be a great hour spent, and I'm going to help you, so let's get started. I got bills to pay, I got people knocking on my door, I'm getting things in the mail that aren't even for me. I don't know where to go in life. Talk quietly. Say it again, say it again. I got things to, things to say to people. Mm -hmm. okay. What's your name? Bill. I hate my life, I hate my job, I hate my wife, my kids are annoying, they're always asking me for money. And I hate my wife too, because she asked me for... Because there are other guys on the team, it's like they were going to play, they were going to be in there. I come in here, I don't know where I am, I don't know what time it is, I don't know what, if it's day or night, and I, I, can't, I don't even know where I parked my car, and uh, I'm just... It's probably the parking lot. Lab coat, do you like my lab coat? Do you want to wear it? Do you want to wear it? Do you like my lab coat? Do you like my lab coat? program? No. Well, it finally paid off. Houston, we have deliciosity. Roger, Texas, that's one tasty snack. Now available in bite size. Yeah! Do you want a hot dog? Do you want a candy bar? Have both. Hot dog candy bar, hot dog candy bar. Houston, the bite size put me over the moon. Your 
you're 15. No one gets you. No one understands you. I know, man. They're all such hypocrites. Your parents. Give me a break. They're just like... They're just like your teachers. They just want to tell you what you can't do. And control you because it's all part of their sick power trip. Everything's so lame and stupid. Like last, like last weekend when you, you broke curfew and your dad got all mad at you. Like he never broke curfew when he was 15. What a hypocrite. Everything sucks. And your girlfriend, she never lets you just hang out with your buddies. Probably gonna have to let her loose. You gotta have your freedom. It's just a matter of muscling through the pain. You'll be alright, bro. Don't worry. Hello, Arthur Dringley here. I'm here to give you Bruce Springsteen's songs about jobs. That's right, America's greatest American songwriter has written his greatest American masterpiece, Songs About Jobs, performed by people with actual jobs. Featuring the doctor. I googled your symptoms, and the good news is, you're gonna be okay. Or Jeff got
horse and shit. Sad and lonely, you're on the prowl. Rejection, rejection, you're on the prowl. interpretation of a devastating epidemic in this country. Sad, desperately lonely men are on the prowl. A pathetic, fruitless attempt to interact with women, as many as 47% of men under 30 are on the prowl. 100% will die within the next 50 to 75 years. Let's hear a few words from some of these poor smos. So wait, you don't, you mean none of those girls liked me? I don't, it just seems kind of hard to believe. Um, yeah, I thought we were filming a Jay-Z music video, so I mean, this is just kind of a lot. I don't care, man. You think that's like, you think that's real life? I think that's like a documentary. That's just like my warm up right there. That's what I do before I even really start prowling. All right. I mean, you really you didn't see anything. I that, that's all just like stretches. You know. I mean, when I get on the prowl, I I need barricades. I need the police to hold the women away from me because they just they can't resist can't resist this. absolutely devastating, but it doesn't have to be that way. With a small donation of $22 a day, you can help change their lives for the better. Send your payments to 22 Catch Street, Philadelphia, PA, 191 something or other. This message brought to you by Mark Forfel, Global Change Initiative. She turned 